Hello, beloved. We're going to take a break from the the wrath of judgments on the wicked. <laughs> but I want to say, first of all, in in Psalms of David, you know, God says he's laughing at them. Okay, he's, he's, <laughs> says, then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. So that's in Psalm 2. He will speak to them in his wrath and his sore displeasure. But it says that he laughs at them and he has them in derision. So, you know, they're, they're making a big boo-boo by messing with God's spirit. <laughs> okay. Changing his word, making sure everybody doesn't see who they are. They're hiding um, but God will destroy them with the brightness of his coming. And as he's coming, I'm starting to notice, and, and this is going to sound interesting, but, you know, Jesus could see them. And I'm starting to see them all over the place. On the media, which media is a medium, and I don't watch the news, but my husband had the news on for the weather, I think, the other day. And it took a screenshot because the Holy Spirit, I came in because I'm usually reading the Bible and stuff whenever he does that once in a while. He doesn't do that every day. And I took a screenshot and I was told to zoom in. And, you know, there's serpent scales all over the news media. Serpents. So the beast, the deceiver, the serpent, the, the all over scales. So be careful where you get your information. We should get our information from the Lord. He's the counselor according to Isaiah 9-6. He's a wonderful counselor. We don't need to, to consult a medium. Um, medium. Now, you could look at it to see what they're, what they're publishing out there, what they're saying out there, because you know what? God showed me how to read their, what they're saying. So I can see what they're saying to each other. So what they're saying, these these vipers, is they're speaking to each other, okay? That's their communication source. Just like when they sent out the pestilence to um, put sickness on God's people, the same way that Satan put sickness on Job, or the same way that um, Moses, you know, they tried to kill Moses as a baby. They knew that he was going to be um, powerful, so there was going to be a man See, they, they know who is the light, and so they go after the babies, like in, we've done videos on that, like abortion, they were going after the, the children of Israel, the true tribes of God's people, who are the oracles of, oracles of God as Israel. He has some in every generation who will speak, okay, and bring, call his people, gather his people into the kingdom, Okay, but the Satan and his children who become a cage of every foul spirit and hateful bird, um, they are being moved by Satan from below. So you have God's children who are speaking from heaven, and then you have Satan's children who are speaking from hell. So you have the, the gates of heaven and the gates of hell are people. Okay, um, so I just wanted to show you this. This was so awesome. Make sure you praise the Lord right now because I was praising the Lord and reading the Bible. And um, I just was noticing that there was a bright light, a brightness coming in. And there's times that I'll, I'll see a whole, the whole place will get bright, the whole room. But I just want to show you, you know, the Lord is with us by his spirit. And look at that. It has light and, and rainbow and this light coming through. And the scriptures say that the word of God, he destroys them with the breath of his mouth and the brightness of his coming. So when he comes, he's going to be as bright as it is from the east to the, as the lightning shineth from the east to the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. And he's going to be very bright, beloved. Um, and I was praising him. So he inhabits the praise of his people, it says in the scriptures. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, he is good. Hallelujah. We give him all the glory, honor, and praise, dominion in us. Our hearts turn to him fully and speak truth one to another. We should never speak lies to each other. Um, the apostles and Jesus said that, speak the truth. And even the, the prophets said that. Um, that was important to God. Okay, because he is looking for those that will worship him in the spirit and in truth. 
not in lies, not in deceit. Those that are, you know, trying to rule over son of man are serpents. Why? They did that to Eve. <laughs> Genesis 3. They're doing it again. It's nothing new under the sun. They're trying the same thing. Now notice that this light is on the inside of my house. This is the inside of my house, beloved. So something's going on. Hallelujah. He's with us. You know, a lot of people are, you know, it's one thing to support God's people. It's another thing to go against the Lord who is speaking judgment to the wicked. Okay. Um, and he says, cry out. Shout and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Wow, I have it on Isaiah 12. It says, sing unto the Lord. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. It says in Isaiah 12, 5 and 6, I just looked down and I didn't even know I was on this page. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Hallelujah. He is in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Praise his name. And if you turn with me to, um, let's see, is it Revelation? Revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation 10. Here, I'll move this now. Revelation 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon on the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth and when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. Time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. Praise the Lord. We are reading about the prophets, and we have that little book in our hand that Isaiah said to read at the very end. Hallelujah. And we know that the word of God is true and faithful, a witness that we can trust, right? And we are witnesses about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And um, yeah, so let's just praise him today.